Hello, hello, hello. What the fuck is up? Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Meant to vent, bitch asses. Here we are, back once again. Hold up. Hold up to what? What am I interrupting you again? Fuck that. Shut the fuck up. Eat a dump truck full of dicks. We are back. We are back. We're quarantined, just like all y'all. Quarantined as a motherfucker. It's Will, your favorite chubby hubby. Sitting next to Jaime over there. Yep, I'm your boy Jaime, and you can reach me at the real Jaime one on Instagram. Are we six feet apart? We're about that. Yeah, you can reach me on Instagram at one take will. And we are back once again. So what's going on with you, man? What's going on? I have been doing absolutely fuck all. I've been getting really bored. I've been getting really bored. I've been trying different ways to amuse myself, as you all can see on my story sometimes, <laughs> or I'd be acting silly. I don't apologize. We gotta do what we gotta do. So make it through the day. I wander around my house regularly now, as my wife's at work, making breakfast sandwiches for all y'all motherfuckers who, cause, who can't stay inside for some reason, even though y'all ain't working neither. But uh, I wander around my house half naked. And I look at things, and I'm like, hmm, I'd like to start this project. I want to do that project. But then I'm also like, I don't want to spend any fucking money because I don't know what's going to happen after all this is done. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to stockpile the money until I find out. I'm probably It's probably going to be like a year before I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy something now. I'm going to buy a new pair of socks. And it was like super nice out yesterday, and I was like scared to go outside. I felt like that dude's brother from Bench Warmers. Like that guy just hides in the closet, and he's afraid of the sun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't fucking I don't know what to do. I was like, it's so beautiful, but should I go out? I was like doing the fucking hokey pokey outside my back door. Should I put my right foot in and out? I don't know what's going on. It's airborne. What's going on? I'm surprised I'm not sunburned because I spent pretty much all fucking day outside. I loved it. It was beautiful. And you know, my Caucasian ass, I turned into a strawberry real fast under any amount of sunlight. Strawberry. You, you, you shine a bright flashlight on me and I start to burn. I, my skin turns red. <laughs> it's like sticking a fork in the microwave. It's like the turkey beacon when unless you know the turkey's done. Exactly, exactly. The but, lobster. Yeah, uh, got the yard. First grass cut of the season. I was real excited to fire up the mower. Ooh. But other than that, you know, I really, you know, doing some exercises, hanging out with the dogs a lot, watching uh, some sci-fi shows, watching The Expanse right now, almost done with season three. Loving that. I think I'm going to watch that new show with Orlando Bloom after that. It's uh, Carnival or, I don't know, it looks really fucking crazy. It's on it's on Prime Video. It looks crazy. And I saw Orlando Bloom's in it, and I saw Monsters and, and Wizardry, and I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, that's right up my alley. I'll watch that shit. Orlando Bloom. Yeah. And then there's that other show. Um, I don't know. I don't know who's in it. Or what it's about, but it looked interesting. I can't even bring up any details, but it's another show that I'm going to watch. But I made the biggest mistake I could have possibly made. I downloaded this stupid app onto my phone that gives me news alerts. And I have been watching the death toll. Just gives me new alerts all the time. Death toll, corona cases, this, that, and the other. And I'm just like, fuck. I want to delete the app off my phone, but at the same time, I'm addicted to it now. Because it tells me all these other things. It's like the new stock market. It is. It's ridiculous. I, I don't want to watch it, but I'm, I have to watch it. It's like, it. oh, the Dow is up, but the corona is down. Yeah. What's going on? I'm waiting for that. I want that. Dude, that'll be some fantastic news. Dow Jones Industrial makes a rise. Coronavirus takes a dive. Shares are selling at all-time lows. Oh, uh, good news. I finished Tiger King. It's about time. Yeah, I know. They already got people talking about who they want to play him in the movie and shit. They're all talking about what actors they want to play and shit for them. I know. I sat down and I thought about it the other day um, while uh, while my wife was was slaving hard on the stove after a long day of slaving hard making breakfast sandwiches. I, uh, geez, you really emphasize the slaving hard. Slaving hard. She's my slave, and I love her. For You're like it. she was slaving hard with breakfast sandwiches and <laughs> slaving hard over the stove. <laughs> Uh, I could not survive. I was slaying hard on my way to the freaking refrigerator to grab me a cold beer. Listen, if it wasn't for my wonderful wife, I would not have survived this crisis. I'd be out there pulling my what little hair I have, probably my beard hair out, 
running around. I probably already have the corona if it she wasn't was for her. She's slaving hard for you to stay alive. Basically, yes. She's the one keeping me alive. She's the one. She's the mentally stable one out of the two of us. Usually it's the female, you know, less, less stable and the male's more stable. It's not like that with us. I'm the crazy one. I can see that. But uh, so I thought of some people that uh, I noticed other people were doing it. And everybody wants Joe Exotic to be played by Joe Dirt. Fuck that. I thought of some good ones. Okay. Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's a good one. That's I, a good one. I think. And then I was going through pictures. And here's. I found a picture of Ellen DeGeneres sporting a mullet. I think it was in the 80s or the 90s. And I thought, what better person to play a homosexual rancher than a lesbian talk show host. Ellen could probably pull it off for sure. I think that would be amazing if Ellen DeGeneres played Joe Exotic. She could do it. That'd be fucking awesome. And all she did was try to bang straight girls throughout the whole show. You just have to cast, like, WNBA players as the dudes. (laughs) That would be awesome. Because they'd all be as tall as that one dude. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. But Rob Schneider could probably play about 40% of every character in there. That's all I gotta say. He could play forty percent of those characters. Well, you saw that episode of South Park. He could even play a carrot. Okay, Rob Schneider can play anything. I'm telling you, he'd be like, "Look, you're gonna play three people in this movie." He'd be like, "Okay, I got this. That's it. That's it." Right. Rob Schneider is Carol Baskin. I can do it. That's what he would tell him. <laughs> what about Carol Baskin? Man, anybody could play that crazy lady. You could pick any of these good Kathy actors, Bates actors. I think you got no. You can't pick anybody. It has to be somebody evil as fuck. I thought of Angelina Jolie because she can play an evil as fuck bitch. Kathy Bates and um, hmm, who else? I got no one. I got no one. All right, except except that chick from Saturday Night Live, that blonde chick. That weird lady that she plays like all these weird characters. What's her name? She's fucking hilarious. She's like like one of my favorite members. Sarah Jessica Parker? No. Okay. She, she wasn't on Saturday Night Live. I thought she hosted once. Sarah Jessica Parker? Yeah. The Sex in the City lady? Yeah. The donkey witch looking lady. I fucking hate that bitch. She looks I'm ugly sure a lot of people hosted SNL, but she ain't. This girl was like a cast member. Oh, oh okay. All right. My bad. I, you know, my brain went off a little <laughs> track there. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker? There you go she again. Looks... It's not Tom Cruise. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the answer is Red Man. So Red Man could play the guy with no leg. No, Bill Skarsgård could play him. You know who plays the big boyfriend, the big tall boyfriend? Who? Tony Hawk? Terry Crews. Oh, yes. <laughs> It'd be Terry Crews. Like, he could play that emotional dude. He could just get mad and just start break dancing when he gets mad on his tantrums. Like you know how he always break dances. And yeah. Always inflection his chest and shit every time he shot the shotgun. That'd be fucking awesome. It'd be Terry Crews. And he's just riding around on a four wheeler, pointing guns at people the whole movie. Oh yeah. That'd be fucking great. I think he'd pull it off. The Buscemi could be the director, the guy who wears oh, that hat. Yeah, yeah. Crocodile Dundee hat. I was thinking Paul Hogan, the guy who played Crocodile Dundee. No way, he can't act for real. What do you mean? All he played was Paul fucking Crocodile Dundee. What I else know. did he do? That would be great. Come on with an Australian accent. Like, mate, <laughs> you got crocs. You got fucking tigers. They ain't fucking I crocodiles. I don't think he's really Australian. Fucking, he's in Norway. Whatever. I don't know. What the fuck do I know? I don't know shit. I know Ben Affleck has to play somebody. Jake Gyllenhaal has to be in the movie. And Daniel Radcliffe has to be in the movie. All three of those guys could suck it. They all fucking suck. Stick to fucking Harry Potter. Don't even try it. Ben Affleck's washed up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. John Malkovich with a fake mullet as Joe Exotic. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. What about the guy with no legs? Luke Wilson. He'd be like, Joe, you got to stop with his voice, you know, and shit like that. Like, yeah. like telling him to stop. It'd be, it'd be perfect Luke Wilson. They need to bring back Lorenzo Lamas, get him buff as fuck, 
and he can play anybody on the cast. And then Tracy Morgan could be the newest boyfriend that he had before he got locked up, that new young kid, Dylan. Yeah. That's yeah, who yeah, Tracy yeah. Morgan would be. Because he's all motherfucker... loyal as hell, and he'd be like, you know, I love you. And like, I, uh, all our phone conversations are like this every day. Listen, that guy wasn't gay either, okay? That third husband. That and first last dude all, is super gay. First, no, what? That last dude is super gay. How do you figure? That dude was super gay. If I'm offending anybody, that dude was super gay. The last dude that wore the ring around his neck? Yeah. Yeah. That boy was for real gay. I don't know, man. That was the only... That guy was gayer than Joe Exotic. I used to have a homosexual roommate, and you couldn't tell. He was one of those guys that you couldn't tell if he was homosexual or not. He was the kind of guy to beat your ass and then fuck your ass. He was that kind of guy, and he did not look as gay as him. That new, that guy from the show. I'm just telling you. The he, last guy was, though. I don't... All right. All right. All right. I'm not buying it. Not buying it, you two. The other guys weren't, but that last one was. I, I need to see proof. I want to see porno. That's or because something. you didn't watch the last fucking episode. I did watch it. You said you did. You didn't watch the last episode. I did watch you it. You would see how gay that dude was. He was super gay. I did watch it. They're like, kissing on each other and stuff. Oh, he was super gay. I. That dude was all about the fruit cup. But I'm done with it. I'm done with fucking Tiger King. I don't give a fuck about your tigers. I don't care if you bring Siegfried and Roy on the show. I don't care if Carol Baskin goes to prison for murdering her ex-husband. I'm done with it. What if she loses all her tigers and she starts like a Baskin Robin that says, Feral Carol Baskin Robbins. Or whatever her first husband was named. And Baskin to that dude that she killed. I mean... <laughs> What if she owns a Baskin Robbins and one of her flavors is Carol? Carol, it's her, her husband's flavor. Yeah, it was sardine oil. Sardine oil when, flavored ice cream. When she says, everybody loves it, even the tigers. When she says, "Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to dump sardine oil on his shoe to attract one of the tigers or something." That look in her eye, I watched her eye roll into her head like a shark does when they bite you. It was definitely the sign of a murderer. Man, all I got to say is he tried to say that they put some shit on his boots for the tiger to come get him. Yeah. And if you've seen his fucking shoes, look like they had little frilly frails on his fucking shoe. That tiger looked like he wanted to get a mouse or something on his fucking foot. That's all it was. It was his dumb ass's fault. He was... And you're going to walk in a room full of tigers and you're limping. They're already looking at you. Yeah, they're That's already looking at you. That's how they fucking hunt. They look yeah. for the slowest mother straggler. Yeah. They're lo they look at him as like, oh shit, we got one of the weak sick ones. That's food right there. Like someone put some shit on my shoe. Ain't nobody put shit on your shoe. Dumbass. Did he shoot one of those tigers? Because i seen him shooting his gun off. It looked like he shot one of them tigers. No, to he get just it shot off the him. ground, but he okay. would have if the cameras was rolling. Yeah. That was crazy. That shit was bananas. Carol Baskin Robbins. When that guy tried to, when, when Joe Exotic. Coming soon. Was running for president. I, I was, I don't know, man. I, I didn't even know that that happened. In two, what was it 2016? I got to say something about that. Go ahead. The fact that he got 13% votes. That tells you a lot about Oklahoma, doesn't it? It says a lot about society in general. Well, I think that was when he ran for governor. Look, man, he got 13% votes yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Did you hear what that one lady said to him? She's anywhere. like, did you get any death threats? And he's like, yeah, I got a few. She's like, well, that's a sign of a successful campaign then. So apparently, if you run for Congress or governor or whatever, if you're getting death threats then you're doing something right. That's scary as fuck. I'm not running for shit. Get them true gangster stripes when you go into politicianville. The only thing I'm running for is a toilet when I got diarrhea. That's it. I'm not running for nothing else. I just want to stand on limos and wave at people. Yeah, that was crazy. Not even poking out the sunroof, standing on the roof of the limo. Then you wonder why he had to wear a knee brace. Probably blew his ACL out or some shit. I wanted to be the driver and just slam on the brakes real hard, even though they were only doing like two miles an hour. It'd still throw everybody right off. With all the shit that was happening in the show, that would have been hilarious to see if he just fell. Or like a tiger just jumped out the fucking limo and just fucking bit his ass. Yeah. Yeah, some, somebody else needed to get mauled by a tiger in that show. Apparently, there's some footage on YouTube that didn't make the show where I guess a couple people do get attacked. Um, That guy with no legs? Yeah. He gets bit and somebody else does, and I guess that part is actually on YouTube. Y'all oh, can check shit. that out. And it's a pretty gruesome attack, too. Like, my man gets gashed. Ugh. I, don't, I don't know if I... I mean, yeah, I do want to watch that shit. I'm going to say that I don't want to watch it, but then if you put it in front of me, I'm going to watch it. 
fuck yeah. <laughs> I always watch that shit like I ain't going to watch it, then I feel bad after I watch it, and then I'll go back and watch it again. And Yeah. Why am I doing it in slow motion this time? Like I showed – Damn I sh- me. I showed the guys at work one time. This guy walked into the tail prop of a helicopter, got decapitated. And I, they were like, why did you show us that? I was like, I don't know, because I watched it, and I wanted to share the experience with you. It was pretty gruesome. And I would definitely watch somebody get mauled by a tiger, too. Like, remember that video a while back where that guy fell in the tiger pit? It was in India, I think. And he started praying, and the tiger mauled his ass anyway? Yeah, he just walked up and grabbed him up. Yeah. He's like, hey, you just, like, put your hands closer so I can bite you easier. Basically. Thank you. Thank you. You just made that shit easy. Come here for a minute. Let me see what you taste like. It's like, hey, Mr. Human Man, can I talk to you for a minute? Can I get some barbecue sauce oh, for this human? Oh, you got too close. You're in my mouth. Can I get some oregano for this human? How am I going to get this human out of my mouth? I guess he's got to go all the way through to find out what happens. That's right. That's in Tiger World. you got to ex- inspect me from the inside, Mr. Human. Look, those are wild animals for a reason. So I wrote down some news articles. Some, some little tidbits. First of all, church in Louisiana... They shut them down because these people are still trying to go to church. They had protesters outside. They had police give you know tell them, hey, you don't shut this down. We're gonna give you a misdemeanor charge, whatever. Are you that, uh, are you that hungry for worship that you, you you know in the time of crisis like this you need to go to church? Come on, Louisiana, get it people, together. People love the Lord. I understand that you can Skype that shit. My dad is from Georgia and he is skyping his sermons right now. That's why I can't wait for like um, the people to take advantage of this, and uh, you can't steal my idea because this is about to be some gold shit. Right I here. was hide it then. I would not let that look, out. Look, you see how they got the Peloton bike? Okay. Don't shit this nugget now on you're gonna YouTube. Have to fucking, uh, you're going to have that fucking like wireless fucking Peloton church. You're going to fucking turn the shit on, and it's going to come in. You're going to be like, Alexa, turn on the Lord. <laughs> and it's going to fucking turn the whole TV on, all the fucking tears, spirals, all your fucking Bluetooth speakers, all your shit in the house. It's going to be the mass. Is it going to be like in the Blues Brothers movie where John no, Belushi man, was dancing? Real church. Okay. Okay. You like him? Um, are you going to have to pay for it? Is it going to be sixteen ninety nine a week? Of course. There's a, a, for some reason, yeah. all these new churches have a donation bucket. Yeah. So the, there's going to be a donation. Yeah, of course, course there's going to be a donation. So um, here's another thing. Wireless church. Um, in Detroit. Pella church. This woman has been charged with shooting her husband to death over a phone. It's nice to see that the city of Detroit hasn't lost its murderous spirit in this time of the virus, but she shot her husband to death over a phone. I'm pretty sure cabin fever was an issue. Look, sometimes people need essentials. Like what? She had the phone. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to take it away. Maybe she was on it too much. She's like, hey, pay attention to me. We're all cooped up together. Show me some love, honey. It was the guy she was talking to. That could have been it told you i'm gonna stop you from shooting them photos and she was like oh no you ain't Pow, pow. maybe she maybe she didn't have enough uh 5g or something he wouldn't pay for like the premium package because now you, if you want 5g you got to pay for that extra package and she was pissed off about it well she probably wanted them gigs like how them guys can control like whoever owns the phone service the account holder can control the gigs given out to the family and he probably wasn't distributing them gigs even enough and she needed some more gig and my man was like no i ain't giving you no shit and she was like, what? And I wanted someone some more gigs. And she was like, I ain't giving you no gigs. And he fucking just, she took that shit. Yeah. Damn. That's fucked up. She was getting giggy with it. <laughs> nah, 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 Getting giggy with it. In her case, she was like, pow, 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 pow. Pow, 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 Give me 5G. She was getting giggy. <laughs> so, I got two more that I wrote down. This oh, one. shit. Maybe this one won't take an hour. Hey, you want a rope to hang yourself? We're on limited times. We got a worldwide what? curfew. Really? Shit. You see how long it took you to watch Tiger King? Am I ever going to rip that down? Not to the season two when you just won't watch it. I'm not even going to watch it. If Tiger King comes out with a season two, I'm not fucking watching it. And then fast forward to me watching season two of Tiger King. You will fucking watch it. I will watch Carol Baskins go to jail. Joe Baskins. Exotic. She or, all turned Hispanic. <laughs> Carol Baskin has fled Mexico because she did kill her husband and changed her name to Vasquez. She had to change and her name to Baskin because it was too close to the Robins. She had to take a run. 
Oh, but anyway. Now she's Vasquez. Hanging out. <laughs> with umbrella drinks. And Chapo's fam. They're so, like, oh, yeah, you can come work with us. You got the right criteria. She's like, call me Carol Vasquez. So I just thought this was funny, even though it's actually not. Six gang members were charged with uh, mur- robbery and murder. And I thought what was funny about it is, you know, we're in the midst of a virus. So it kind of wrote down a little joke here. It was like, fuck a virus. We got hood shit to do. That's a gangster mentality. Well, there's also some gang members that are doing a lot more for their cities that some of the fucking government ain't doing. Absolutely. There's some people feeding families and providing yeah. in their areas. And that's real shit. That's, I believe that's that. That's real. But these guys were murderers and robbers. So fuck the virus. We got hood shit to do. So what do you think about that? I don't know. Right. But I know there's people doing good out there. And I saved the very best for last. And you're going to fucking love this. So this man strangled his wife to death during the quarantine so far. He killed her and has been sleeping with her body in the bed for over a week before authorities found out what he, what was going on. Just, just kept her dead body in the in the bed and was sleeping next to it. That's messed up. Yeah, I thought it was. You know, that's what happens when you get a fucking headache for a week while, during the quarantine, Karen. You get choked out. So all you ladies who think you can have a headache all quarantine long, better change your minds. Well, I heard, you know, some of the symptoms are you, you can't breathe. <laughs> That's true. So maybe he was assisting her. Maybe he was looking for the problem. Yeah. Digging in her esophagus, looking for the problem. Or maybe she was in asphyxiation. That could be. And he thought he could asphyxiate her more and that would solve the issue. Bananas. Bananas. So in the news, I saw this article, uh, this fucking guy who happens to be a smart individual. Yeah. When it brings you to my, uh, one of them smart, dumb motherfucker stories. Oh, I love these. This kid is an astrophysicist, crazy, smart, you know, smart young man, part of our generation, possibly, you know, one of the greats eventually, but just not right now. Best of the best of the best. And that's what they do. That's what we do when we're young. We make mistakes. Yeah. And we learn from them. Hopefully he will. (laughs) Maybe, maybe not. So they want you to resist from... You know, touching your face as I just wipe my fucking face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this guy was like, I got to remind myself to not do it because I'm going to itch and scratch and poke my face all day. So this astrophysicist, super smart, genius, smart, dumb motherfucker. Okay. Made these sensors so when his hands get close to his face, he would wear these wristbands and they would go off and make a noise. But what he didn't figure out was that he put the receptors that happened to be magnets in his fucking nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> what? He kept him in his nose. Okay. So go off, and he'd be like, and he'd fucking buzz and fucking vibrate his face. Like, sure, don't, don't touch me. And he would. I guess it was working until the dumbass fucking was chilling, and they fucking got, went up, lodged up in his nostril. What? What? Lot? The magnet? Yeah, they went all got stuck up in his nose when his fucking nostril cavity like a dumbass. So that- they got a picture of him in the article when he started to read it. And it's just him with his nose all red, and he's just sitting there like this. So did they have to, like, go up in there deep and, like, get it out or something? Or oh, did yeah, they leave they it in there? It, they had to go up there and uh, get his little magnet sensors he made. Oh, uh, man. You, you you started off great, but I don't think you thought it all the way through. That's fucking crazy. Why would you think it would be a good idea to shove ban- shove bananas? I almost said shove bananas in your nose, but I meant to say shove magnets. Why would you think that would be a good idea? I'm just as dumb. I know. Magnets, well, bananas. I was, well, I was thinking about how bananas that story is. And, uh, yeah, don't shove bananas or magnets in your nose. <laughs> yeah, man. His picture, so it was the best. But if you can shove a banana in your nose, YouTube, please send me a photograph on Instagram. You can reach me at the, at uh, One Take Will and The Real Heim One. Send that shit to one Send take that will, shit to me. I don't want to see oh, it. Oh, I want to see that. Send that shit to one take will. I want to see that. But your story, fucking, that's, I mean, it's a great idea. I like the idea. The premise of it is great. You know, you, you know, get close to your face, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, because I'm terrible. I'm always scratching it. My, my mustache is the worst. It's, it's always itching my nose. And if he was, like, in the 90s, you could practice voguing with it. I feel, yeah. I was. Like, <laughs> tell you right when to stop. My mustache makes me feel like I've always got a booger, 
So I always think my nose is tickling. You know, I'm always picking at my nose because my mustache makes me think I always got a boogie or you something. You'd be getting buzzed all day. That's what I'm saying. I'm bzzz, I'm bzzz, I'm bzzz. It'd be like playing, uh, what was that What was that game? Operation. It'd be all yeah. the time. Bzzz, 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 bzzz. We'd be losing that game. Yeah, I would never win. I was never good at that fucking game anyway. I could never get the wishbone out. I like to pick my nose, so I'd be taking the magnets out like every 10 seconds. He'd have been out. You'd have to take them out and put them back in. Look, like, man, these are in the way. I got shit to do. Yeah. Like, just like your story. I got no shit to do. I got no shit to do. <laughs> right. So what do you think about this? Um, California has started using RVs as quarantine housing for the I don't I don't know if it's for the homeless or not, but I think it is. Cause they're just they're j- we're just now after all this time getting cases of all these homeless people that they have, they're getting the corona, uh, which I find to be bullshit. It's just, I'm sure they're all infected. We just don't know about it. I don't know how how true a lot of it is, but there's a lot of crazy stuff happening over in California, man. You know, with the homeless situation and a lot of things. So yeah, I wouldn't surprise me, but I'm only catching you know, uh, no offense to anybody out that way. I just uh, only catching what I hear off the news, and that's it's. I mean, it's crazy. That's what we're getting on our end. And but could you sounds, imagine? That sounds bananas. Yeah. Could you imagine having to be quarantined in an RV? Like, what if what if you, your wife, and your mother-in-law all got it, and they forced you to live in a cor- in a in an RV until all of you guys were over the corona? Yeah, and like, could you survive from each other or something? You know. I don't think I could survive. It'd be crazy. It's not enough space. You ever shit in an RV, like in them bathrooms? No. I that think... was always a rule for whenever, because I never owned one. It was always a guest. They were like, you, you don't do number two in here. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not as bad as an airplane. Well, I should say, in the 90s when I used to fly a lot, um, when I went on trips a lot with my aunt and uncle when I was a kid, the bathrooms were bigger on planes. So I think it was about as equivalent. But now the bathroom on a plane, way fucking smaller. You can barely fit your knees in when you close the door. I've never even shit on a plane either. First time shitting on a plane when we went to Disney. I remember we're flying out there, and I say to my lady, it was a two-hour flight. I'm like, I got to drop a deuce. She's like, we'll go. I was like, I don't know if I want to. I don't want to get my asshole sucked in on the, you know, through the toilet. She's like, that doesn't happen. That's not real. I'm like, are you sure? She's like, yeah, you'll be fine. That only happens if it smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, get this dude out of here. But yeah, you 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 have no no space at all. Like I didn't have anywhere to grab hold of in case I had to power shit or anything like that. And when I closed the door, I, my knees were at the door when I sat down. It was bananas. <clears throat> but and then there was this guy that literally the steward or stewardess or whatever he is, the flight attendant was on the other side of the door sitting in his chair. And when I opened the door, I smacked him in the leg with the door. That's how fucking close he was to me. So he could hear every dump, every time that thing hit, because there's no water to splash. Every grunt. Yeah, every, uh, every time it slapped against that plastic, too, because there's no water in there. It was like. Oh, man. You know he could hear that stuff. He was just on the other side of the door. That's crazy. I felt bad for him. Not really. I had to do my thing, but whatever. Yeah, first time shitting on a plane. That's that's all I got to say about that. Crazy, man. <laughs> sound like you drop a wet towel on the floor. That sound, that's all the guy heard on the other side. Was yep. Like, plat. <clears throat> plat. Yep. Plat, plat. There were some juicy ones. Oh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think uh, shitting in an RV is, is about the equivalent of crapping on a plane. Well, you got to keep your balls. You do. You got to keep your balls. You got to keep your testicular fortitude. In times of crisis and need. Because if you don't, well, you lose your balls. Segway. Segway. Why do they call it a Segway when it's that same name as that little bike you ride? Because they're fucking dumb. Transferring from one thing to another is the same as riding one of those electric scooters. <laughs> or, do I, or do I have the rotor wrong? Segway. Is it the same? I don't know. Sounds like the same to me. Yeah, because a segue is when you go from one thing to another. And a segue is a self-balancing scooter, two-wheeled. That's what I'm saying. That's where I'm going with this. You go down to Boners R Us, you get yourself a segue, and you ride around, and then you segue from one thing to another. So, have you ever heard of uh, Zoom? Do you know what Zoom is? No. What is that? Zoom is like this conference calling application that you can put for people that are were working still at home. Oh, okay. See, I things like that. Yeah. I know why I haven't heard of that because I don't do any of that stuff. Oh, so anyways, you know, it's a popular 
application that people are using so they can still work at home, do things together, be in groups and conference call and whatnot. Right. Well, apparently, since people have all been on lockdown, people are just uh, bombing these Zoom conference calls and, like, fucking with people. Uh, guys are mooning people during their conference calls and fucking doing all this funny-ass shit during people's, like, real work. Uh, work-based situation. How, how are they doing that? Is it like completely open or something? I'm not sure. I guess there might. I guess you have to close it off, or if you don't, then I guess people can just jump in, like an airdrop or some shit. That sounds awesome. I want to do that. It would be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, they said one guy came in and like we're mooning somebody during a presentation. Uh, people are walking around like half naked and like, yeah. just doing funny ass shit while people are trying to conduct real, real work and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The essential work or whatever they're doing. I would want to get like a Donald Trump mask and put it on and then jank, dangle my my berries in front of them. That's hilarious. I'd want to play stupid songs that have the word Zoom in it, like that. All I want to do is zoom, 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 zoom in your boom, boom. Call. Not even show my face, just play funny shit. That would be hilarious. But I can't believe it. We should try that. <laughs> and then we'll put it on the show. Or could we get in trouble for that? I don't know. I think they're cracking down on it now, but it's probably a lot of fun when it first started. Yeah, I bet that would be hilarious. I would do some funny shit. Like, I would just show my feet. Like, just have my feet sitting there. Yeah. Like, totally just, or like trying to suck your own toes. No, I just have my feet crossed in front of the camera. You can't see nothing but the bottom of my feet. Yeah. And all the audio is just me eating a bowl of cereal. I would do like. Like some ASMR. Something like that. But it would be me trying to bite my own toenails off with my teeth. Like, I have my mouth, my foot all up by my mouth. And then when they're all looking at me, I'd be like, what? Sometimes I, you ain't got your toenail clippers. You got to do what you got to do. For sure. Yeah. Got to lick away that foot fungus. <laughs> I suppose. I don't know. That would be hilarious. Maybe I would just have my dog taking a dump, like just have video of my dog taking a dump, and it'll bust in on their little conference call. Is it video conferencing? Yes. It's yeah, like so video, it's video so and audio. It's basically like Ooh. they would see what was going on at your house. So you whatever. got like infinite possibilities. Yeah, you could be taking a dump. They yeah. just be looking at him like, hey, I'm out of paper. Can you share some? Oh, yeah. Text me your address. Just show him the turd in the bowl and be like, you got any TP? Or just send the audio like, and then show your feet. Like you have your feet in the audio. Yeah. I don't know. I got one fucked up nail on my right foot. They might be able to be like, hey. You got hammer time guy. feet? No, no, no. no. I, you got hammer time feet? I don't have hammer time feet. I got a messed up nail. Look. That messed up nail could be like code for hammer time feet. Do you want me to whip it out right now? No, we don't want to see that All shit. All right, I'm just saying. I'll I don't whip see, it out. We don't want to see MC Hammer bust out like, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> here comes a hammer. <laughs> we ain't trying to hear that shit. We ain't trying to see Toby Bryant over here. I dropped something heavy on my toe. We ain't trying to see Toby Maguire. Years ago, years ago, I dropped something heavy on my toe, and it fucked up my nail on my foot. And now it grows up. For some reason, I don't understand that. How do you make it grow down? It grows up. So I've thought about some ways of fixing it. What if I super glued it so down? So you grow a half pipe on your foot? Yes. And this shit ain't on YouTube? Yes. <laughs> it's a half pipe. <laughs> and that shit ain't viral yet, like with memes on it? Ants could be doing backflips. You can, like, you can like uh, put that fucking dude, Mr. Meat, uh, fucking meme with him on top of your nail. Yeah. That dude with a giant cock. That's on all the memes lately. You could have him on top of your fucking nail curled up like that. He'd be like... Ah, that'd be hilarious. Right on top, right on top of your nail hook. Yeah. Your nail half pipe. <laughs> yeah, your, I gotta keep, your fucking foot skate park. I gotta keep that bitch trimmed all the time because it catches on everything, and I don't know how to you make it. You probably fuck down. up all your socks. I do. I could imagine what your socks look like. Uh, well, they look cool now. They look cool now. Yeah, now. Yeah. And then that's why you always got a different pair because those things never last after the first time you put them on. Because when you put them on and take them off, you fucking just rip that whole fucking you, thread line out. Well, don't you change your socks? No. Oh. <laughs> I wait. I thought you had to change. No, your mine socks. are just reusable. You know, you change your socks, but just when you pull it back out, that fucking thread hooks onto your sock from the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it hooks onto your half pipe skateboard toe, <laughs> and it fucking pulls all the thread out your sock. So like, it did survive now, but when you get it to the washer, it's gonna be like something missing when you get back. I mean, shit happens. Sometimes you got a skateboard toe. Whatever. You ain't lying. You got to live with that shit. You got the term step up. That's what that toe is doing. It's your toe is stepping up. What else you got? Hit me with another one. Things are looking up for that toenail. Okay. Is it moving on up? You know that song, what goes up? Well, they never finish because this shit just goes up. Because it never comes down. It's always on the up and up. That piggy never went home. That piggy got stuck. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Wait, wait, you don't have any deformed body parts from I years don't got of... hammer time feet. That's for damn sure. Okay, but I'm sure you got something. I know you got the fucked up thumb over there. I don't got the Spider-Man actor Toby Maguire in my fucking sock. <laughs> I got Toby Keith singing songs on my half pike nail. Hell yeah, Toby Keith fucking in your fucking right foot over there, busting fucking sad country ballads. I got no, that's Kobe Bryant. I was gonna say Toby. Yeah, no. I already said Toby Bryant. You did say Toby yeah. Bryant. Go fuck yourself. Then. Toby Bryant. <laughs> Kobe Bryant's little brother, Toby Bryant, scrubbing under that nail for me. Got to keep it clean. Got to get that fungus out. Sheesh. So I went to one of them Asian parlors where they mess with your feet and clip your nails and stuff like that. And I asked the lady, I said, hey, what do I do about this toe? Right? Because I figured, you know, this is what they do for a living. You know what she said to me? She goes, now, I hope I don't offend anybody, but this is how she said it to me. She said, I know not. I know doctor. You go see doctor. I was like. She's probably like, cut it off after you left. I was like. I mean, my bad. I, did, I thought I offended her by the way she responded. She seemed a little upset that I would ask her. But I'm like, you fuck with toes all day. I thought you might know a little bit of something. Because there's nothing on the internet for that. You can look up, you know, when you when you get that ingrown toe, it'll tell you how to get rid of that. But they don't tell you what to do when your toenail decides that it wants to reach for the sky all day. That's why you got to make memes on that motherfucking thing. Yeah. Like, order yourself a grinder online and grind that bitch. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know what to do. Like a DeWalt grinder, not <laughs> no regular grinder. Give me that Mil- Makita. Fucking take that shit down a notch. You know, not a Milwaukee. Your socks are at stake. What's that What's that popular brand that everybody wants of the grinder? What's that brand? Oh, for, well, in your case, Matab 2. That's it. That, that's it. In your case. Matab toe. Matab toe. Let me get that Matab toe. I knew you'd come up with something clever. You clever <laughs> dick, you. Man. Oh shit. But this weather's nice. I'm loving it. I'm gonna turn into. I'm gonna be a strut. By the time we. Hey, record- did you take the free bridge or the toe bridge? Oh, oh, bogus. <laughs> hey, toe duh. <laughs> toe duh. <laughs> Your shit just went up, toad. Sorry, folks. We had to make a toe break to find a toe strap. Yeah, he had some top. He had some pop tarts and didn't have a toaster oven. That's where we left off. We were talking about his big ass fucking Jurassic toe. I'm like a, a velociraptor. You know how they had in the movies, they had that one hooked toe, but mine doesn't hook down. It goes up. I yeah, got that, that big, one toe. That one big toe, that big thumbnail thing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the opposite one. But mine's not on mixed my. with a human. Mine's not on my. It's the one next to your pinky toe. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, it's not It's not a big toe or nothing. It's the It's the little toe next to your pinky toe. The velociraptor. Or the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Do you want some toast? The Steg Toe Sauce. <laughs> you go to the restaurant. They're like, "Can I get a po' boy?" And like, "No, we got a toe boy for you." Oh son. shit. Uh. But yeah, that's my toe. Gotta love it. I mean, my wife tells me all the time, "She's your feet are so ratchet." Yeah, I know. I was like, "And you can't say ratchet because you're not urban enough for that." <laughs> You were from the suburbs. Or she was watching some show that wasn't called Not In My Hood. Yeah, I, I, uh, so I guess it's not called Not In My Hood. It's oh, I know. You're not really, on my block. Not on my block. It's That's, even worse. Not I know. on my block. <laughs> See, not on, is, that don't make it no better. It doesn't make it any better. Not it's, on my block, yo. <laughs> not on my, <laughs> you ain't bringing your toe on my block. Get don't that toe. Fucking, better watch that hook-ass foot. You and your hook foot. Better get off my block. If you were playing ring toss, I could catch it on my nail. You would fuck up John claude Van Damme with one kick in the knee. That's he'd, it. He'd block your shit and get injured. Yeah. And then he'd do that 10-minute ten long, ten minute long scream. Like oh, you've yeah. seen him in Bloodsport. <laughs> when he wiped the blood off his eye, but he'd be like and then he wiping does the... it off his shin when he blocked you. He'd be like, yeah, like for 10 minutes on his leg. I thought he was blind. Why did he look at both hands? What was How up with that? he blind and look? Exactly. He looked at both hands. He went like this. Who wipes their eyes like this? Who? What? Is... <laughs> yeah. First of all, who the fuck? 
doesn't wipe their eyes like well we're not supposed to be touching our face but who does it for the fucking bottom of your like where your wrist meets your fucking hand yeah who the fuck wipes your hands the right there bottom let me, of your let me palm wipe my face. your bottom of your palm you're gonna wipe your eyes and then you're gonna look at it it's like man dog it's like 98 degrees today it's hot as fuck gotta wipe I'm gonna start yeah, wiping just my wipe this fucking sweat off. <laughs> it's fucking sweaty. I'm sweaty. The fuck uh, am I doing? Gotta love that movie. Who does that? <clears throat> and that movie. And then he's gonna fucking supposed to be blind, like you said, and he's gonna look at the shit. Like, oh, I can't see, but <laughs> but I'm gonna let me look at it real quick. Now, for all you YouTube people out there watching, I want you to know that the movie Bloodsport with Jean Claude Van Damme is connected to the movie Real Geniuses with Val Kilmer. Those two movies are connected. Check it out. And that's all we're going to say about that. Conspiracy. Gotta love it. Hook foot. <laughs> I was trying to segue away from my hook foot with a little conspiracy Well, I was action. thinking about James Brown, and I was like, get on the good foot. And I thought about get on the hook foot. Oh, God. <laughs> get on up and get on the ceiling. Get on up. Get on up on your hook foot. And just dance on the ceiling. <laughs> you How seen did... that? You seen that pretty Peter Pan remake? <clears throat> now there's gonna be another one. It's oh be god! The Hook Instead of Captain Hook, it's gonna be Captain Toe. Captain Toe Hook. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have Orlando Bloom and Jet one too. That fucking show you be watching. Oh, Orlando Bloom would jump back into this pirate I've, film. I haven't started the watching Hook, it. Part two. But next time when we record. I'm going to talk about this new we're show. To, we're going to have to cast Orlando Bloom. Man, we ain't going to talk about this show. We ain't got enough battery juice in my phone for your long ass stories. I've been watching The Expanse. Did I already say that? Yes. Well, fuck you then. We already talked about The Expanse, and I told you it was a nickname for my brother's pants. That's it. That was it. That was it. I remember now. Because he's so big, his pants expanse. <laughs> it has to be expanded. So they're called Expanse because they're constantly going outward. My boy uh. came up to me the other day. He's like, yo, dog, I fucking was losing weight. And I'm like, no, you didn't. I found it. It's right there. Oh, shit. We were just talking about your toe for like 10 minutes. I know. I know we talked about my toe. What do you, you got? Eagle, you and your reverse eagle talon of a fucking owl claw. Reverse eagle talon of That you owl. got off your foot. I feel bad for every sock you get. Look, you, know, you should donate us socks. Go to his one take wheel and send addresses. Please. To fucking donate him socks. I need his socks. Foot, that hooked ass toe be fucking up every sock he yeah. got. Yeah. My toe be fucking up my socks. All you sponsors, we need sock sponsors. That'll, that'll be strong enough to to go through that hook. And I like I like magical looking socks. They gotta be magical to withstand that fucking scratch. Yes. Yeah. It's gotta be Hogwarts approved. You ever socks. see a woman's pantyhose and they got that run? That's what all his socks look like when they take them off. Oh man, dude, it's like you've been in my house looking through my sock drawer. <laughs> the way you're the sock destroyer. <laughs> They're Shaka Zulu and Saka Zulu. You, you got, fucking hook me fucking socks up. You got Joe Exotic. He's the cock destroyer. And then you got me, who's the sock destroyer. Fuck yeah. You got Joe Exotic and fucking Will Sockotic. Because you'd be fucking up his socks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and he'll be like, I saw toenails. And my oh, shit's no. fucked up. No. And if they made a movie about my toe, I want Jack Black. They got that erectile defunction, dis- dysfunction, dysfunction where dudes have that hooked cock and shit. Sorry about you motherfuckers, but I'm about to bring it up. Well, he's got the fucking hooked toe. Yeah. You got to make a pill for that shit. You yeah. got a fucked up toe. We're going to straighten it out. Where the fuck you at, hymns? That's what I was going to say. They got hymns for that hooked cock. What do they got for my toe? Then you got appointments to see Alice and shit. Wait, instead of hymns? for fucking crooked ass toes. Instead of hymns, is it called hymns? No, nah, you need some shims. <laughs> Fucking shim that fucking thing in your sock and straighten that shit out. Get some board shims. If we make a movie. Wood shims up in there. We should make a movie about my toe and cast Jack or Black like, as I'm me. Or like, I'm about to copyright something else. Copper, All right. Copper shims. It'll go copper through that wood shims. shit. Your shit will chew that wood up. Oh, shit. How much toe could a woodchuck toe? Dude. Man, remember that festival they have, that Coachella? We could have one for you and your foot. Toachella! Before we fucking decide to take this break, because that was just in my brain, and I just thought of that one right now. The Totella Festival. He can't even got his earphones on, and I hear this, but y'all are going to hear it, and he's going to hear it after production. The fucking Totella Festival. We'll sell tickets. We'll have fucking bands, volunteer bands. We'll fucking bring bands up in there. Taco trucks, all that shit. Oh, my God. Welcome to Totella. I swear to God, this is the best day ever. So, 
Once we again. hope you guys, uh, you know, we hope you guys like this episode. Uh, we're having a great time. If you do like this episode, please hit us with a like and subscribe. Please. And uh, we've been having a blast doing this. And uh, my name is uh, Jaime, and you can reach me once again at the Real Jaime One on Instagram. And I'm taking my big toe. Well, it's not even my big toe. I'm gonna take my hook toe. It's my little toe. It's the pinky one right over here. And I'm going home. And you can reach we me the on. Sock, it. We see the sock bulging. We you, know which. Yeah, one you is. can see it. It's right there. You can. <laughs> You can reach me on Instagram at one take will. Uh, go ahead, hit me up. Look for them pictures of that toe, cause they're coming. Yeah. So this has been another episode of Meant to Vent, baby. We out. Hello, hello, hello. What the fuck is up? Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Meant to Vent, bitch asses. Here we are back once again. Hold up. Hold up to what? What am I interrupting you again? Fuck that. Shut the fuck up. Eat a dump truck full of dicks.